say that's how I operate After that kind of came the setting up of the pillows into a giant like Peter Chris slash Neil Peart drum set and kind of you know imagining the the giant drum set with the with the wooden spoons and that's probably the beginning you know and just pretending a lot of, a lot of musical pretending heard of some some of the ones I'm into are more of the uh, um, kind of a a jazz slash world beat thing. Uh, I, I really like the the, the Fela Kuti um, influence that it has uh, on a lot of these on a lot of these young bands. There's a band called Antibalas from uh, from New York, and I guess they used to be called Antibalas Afrobeat Orchestra, and I think they just shortened it down. Uh, I really like them and uh, um, Afro Motive. I think out of uh, Asheville, North Carolina. That's kind of encompassing the sound of Fela Kuti. I'm really into that. And uh, in, in in the more current world, uh, I'm like in Phoenix, and um, I think they're really cool and they got a really interesting sound going. Totally different from what I'm doing and playing and listening to. And in my world, opposites attract. So um, that's why a lot of electronica kind of creeps into my world because it's so. It was so different from, from where I started, which is the acoustic guitar. I guess what I write about is just is real things, you know. There's, there's definitely some imagination uh, on this latest record called Odd. Uh, for example, there's a, a bluegrass science fiction song. And so, you know, there's definitely some, some imagination in there. But other than that, there's a lot of stream of conscious, like uh, Super Hot Girl you just heard is very... You know, eyes open. This is what's happening. There's another song called "Freaker by the Speaker," which is the same way. You know, kind of looking out in the audience and seeing what's happening. So it's pretty obvious, I think, where my songs come from lyrically. Um, new record is definitely. Uh, it's kind of a step forward for me. I've, I've, you know, just stylistically back to back the, you know, 
there's folk music, there's jazz, there's bluegrass, there's um, techno, you know, there's all kinds of these weird um, genres back to back, you know, there's no real rhyme or reason to it. And lyrically, you know, it's definitely a little more out there, so the one syllable title to bring the whole record together would be odd. Music is definitely a huge passion. Uh, I guess another passion would be my, my kids. I have a, a five-year-old and a one-and-a-half-year-old, and they're with me on this tour. And, um, you know, we have to really go on tour to get this, this, this kind of family time, you know. When we're at home, everyone's going in different directions, doing different things. But, yeah, my, my kids are definitely uh, my passion, and they keep me hopping. And before my kids, you know, it'd be like I get off tour and it'd take a couple of days to decompress and then the next couple of days kind of the boredom would kick in and then once the boredom kicks in then that's when the creativity starts to flow. But now there's no real downtime, you know. I'm chasing kids around and and going here and there and doing all kinds of stuff with them and and uh, the songs just kind of have to come naturally rather than, you know, having to force it. I've never been able to, to write songs just by forcing. I have, but they don't really make it too long, you know. They, they, they drift away. Uh. <laughs> And I entertain 
tube Cause it's all in my mind Live inside my imagination Yeah, it's all 